welcome to Lake to Lake, a new show about Bellevue. I'm Lieutenant Troy Donlin with the Bellevue Fire Department. This month we'll share stories about a flash mob for fitness, social service needs during the holiday season, and the Bellevue High School's football team. But first, let's check headlines from the past month. A long-awaited project to make Westlake Sammamish Parkway safer for pedestrians, bicyclists, and drivers will begin early next year. Officials recently awarded a $4.8 million construction contract for the first phase from Interstate 90 to Southeast 34th Street. Project managers expect to be completed by spring of 2014. The southbound lane of the street will need to be closed during the work and a detour put in place. Eventually, the 5.5 mile long parkway project will be completed in five phases. Improvements will include a multi-purpose trail, landscape buffers, water main and drainage upgrades, and pedestrian crossings. On December 3rd, the City Council approved a two-year operating budget and a seven-year capital budget. The operating budget has been characterized as a status quo spending plan with no general tax increase or staff layoffs. In response to increased costs, the Council did approve higher rates for utilities and for development services, such as permitting. More information about the budget is available at the City's website at www.bellevuewa.gov backslash budgets. A different sort of flash mob materialized recently at Crossroads Mall. It was organized to promote fitness programs at North Bellevue Community Center. Let's take a look. decided to create an event called a flash mob for the awareness of the community center so that the community center can um, have the opportunity to let the public know more about what's going on here at the center. We're hoping that by bringing the awareness into the community um, that we're taking the information to where people normally are and that's part of a community center is to be in the community to bring awareness of the city's programs in fitness opportunities for everybody of all ages. Here at the North Bellevue Community Center we have a lot of opportunities for people to participate and I don't think everybody's aware of them. And the idea of a flash mob is to get people together to all unite and do something fun. The holiday season could be a positive time of sharing with friends and family. However, for the less fortunate in our community, it can be a struggle. We spoke with Patty Skelton-McGugan, Executive Director at Youth Eastside Services, about the challenges of helping those in need. Youth Eastside Services is a lifeline for kids and families on the East Side. We're licensed to provide mental health and drug and alcohol treatment. We're the place to turn on the East Side and here in Bellevue. So we're the number one place people turn when their kids need help. Um, they're going to get high level quality services when they come here. We have staff that are certified both in mental health and drug and alcohol services. So many times we'll get a kid that comes in for one thing and they need additional help. So having people that are duly certified in both mental health and drug and alcohol allows us to better serve the kid. We also really pay attention to the low income in our community. We serve all in our community, but low income, our board has stayed strong with this, that we will not turn anybody away because they can't afford to pay. And that's really important to us. If you have insurance or you can afford to pay for services, we're going to ask you to do that. But if you can't, we have a sliding fee scale and we serve all the kids that need our help in the community. That calls us out different than a lot of other organizations because a lot of them, just to survive, have had to go to only a fee-for-service. 
So we're real fortunate in this community, especially Bellevue, because the community cares about making a difference. They help us raise dollars so that we can provide for the uncompensated care for kids and families that are struggling right now. If you see someone of concern that needs some help, let them know that we're here. Many times people say, well, I didn't even know about Youth East Side Services. So passing the word to the community is important to let them know that we're here for, our, for all kids and families. Kids are our future. If we don't invest in them, our community isn't as healthy as it could be. So it's always our goal to do the best we can to get kids all the tools they need so that they can be successful in life. You know, it's that time of year, the holidays coming up, and people consider that they'll give to somebody somehow, some way. Um, I hope they consider places like ours that helps kids in our community and our families, because that's what it's all about, is taking care of neighbors, to helping neighbors. On November 30th, Bellevue High School's football team, the Wolverines, played for their sixth consecutive state championship and their 10th title in the past 12 years. Robin Hasseth tells us it takes a big effort, on and off the field, to achieve that kind of success. Heading into this year's football season, the Bellevue High School Wolverines were reigning state champions. In fact, the team had held that title for nine of the past 11 seasons, and many wondered if this year's team was the best ever. We spoke with Seattle Times reporter Jason Jenks about the secrets to their success. The thing that I keep hearing about is their defense. Um, they've given up 69 points all season uh, against 12 Washington opponents. It's, it's a dominant defense. It's the best defense in the state. I don't think there, anyone would argue that. When you kind of match high school teams, one thing people look for a lot is how dominating a defense is because offenses normally are always going to be pretty good in high schools. But, but having a really dominant defense is what separates good teams from great teams. And Bellevue's just always such a traditionally good team, especially under their coach, Butch Goncharoff. I like the teaching part of it. I enjoy seeing kids develop. I think that's a, that's a cool thing. You know, li life's not easy sometimes, and, and, and football's not either. It's not always state championships and wins. It's, uh, there's a lot of hard lessons along the way. Oh, coach Gontra is one of the best coaches I've ever had. Uh, I mean, he really stresses all the little things and makes sure we're perfect. And if we're not doing uh, up to our full capacity and reaching our ceiling, then he's going to make sure that we're doing that. He's taught me the little things matter. You know, the little things, uh, not just in football, but in life. You know, you have to go through every little thing and make sure you put 100% effort in it. And uh, it basically comes down to that working hard and, you know, keeping a close-knit group of people. Coach Butch Goncharoff also credits the Greater East Side Junior Football Program, serving youth ages 8 to 14. I think it's the most important role. Obviously, I coached in the junior program for years. And, and you know what? There's no middle school athletics here. It's always been a mystery to me, and we don't have them here. So our club stuff and what we do in the junior program is vital to our success. And these little kids grow up, and they believe, of, you know, they dream of being Wolverines, and, and, uh, and we, we foster that for all it's worth. Coach Goncharoff is also proud of his athletes' academic success. Our team has been in the top five in the state in team GPA. I've rarely had a kid not succeed in college. And I think that's the one thing we take pride in. That's the goal for any coach. It's not, it's not a state championship. You know, it, it's getting the most out of what you have. It's, it's about playing to your potential and getting the most out of what your team can do. And that starts on the practice field. It's a family atmosphere. Uh, you get to hang out with your best friends every day, come out, and, you know, we, we win. And we win by working hard and, you know, working as a team. So you kind of grow as you get older and see all the, all the little things that play into it, such as the community and, you know, all the things that put into Bellevue High School football. And I enjoy all the things that have nothing to do with Friday night. I enjoy the, the practices in the weight room and the helping kids get into college. And I enjoy all that stuff. I coach because I want the kids to understand what they're getting out of it. They matter to me. After an undefeated season, Bellevue met Eastside Catholic in the state finals, and they won the game with a score of 35 to 3. People always ask for the secret, and oh, what's this? And it's a magical deal, and it's the wing tee offense, or when you have a group of kids that are committed to each other and don't care about who gets credit or 
how many yards I get or how many touch or my name was in the paper and they're working together for something, that's pretty cool. And we foster that. And I don't see other programs doing all that. Bellevue has put on its best holiday attire and transformed into a special place for young and old. As part of Bellevue's magic season, residents and visitors can enjoy popular activities such as the blazing garden delights in Bellevue Botanical Garden, the outdoor skating rink at Downtown Park, and Snowflake Lane at Bellevue Square. Here are details about these activities and other events in Bellevue. Garden Delights includes more than half a million lights that turn the Bellevue Botanical Garden into a winter wonderland. The show runs through Monday, December 31st. It's open from 5 to 10 p.m. daily. Admission is $5. Advanced reservations are required. To purchase tickets, go to GardenDelights.org. Chaplin's Bellevue Volkswagen Ice Arena, brought to you by Bank of America, is at Bellevue Downtown Park. Through January 13th, come skate the region's largest covered open-air ice rink. Admission is $10. Snowflake Lane at the Bellevue Collection. The show runs daily at 7 p.m. through December 31st. The sidewalks of Bellevue Way and Northeast 8th Street feature music, lights, live toy soldiers, and magical snow. And come watch the Seattle Civic Christmas ships as they sail by the beach. This is an all-ages free event. On December 12th, see them from Newcastle Beach Park, 8.20 to 8.40 p.m. And see them December 14th from Maidenbauer Beach Park, 8 to 8.20 p.m. For more information, Email nwac at bellevuewa.gov or call 425-452-4106. For complete Bellevue Magic Season event details, hours, and directions, visit magicseason.com. That's our show for this month. For more information about featured segments, please visit us online at bellevuewa.gov. I'm Lieutenant Troy Donlan. Thank you for watching this edition of Lake to Lake.